Welcome everybody to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys another installment of my top to bottom series. And in today's episode, we are going to be covering this new compilation, I think it's called. It's not actually an album on Spotify. It says it's an album, but according to Drake, it's not an album. It's a compilation, sort of similar to what he did with More Life. It was a playlist, not an album. But yeah, today we're going to be looking at Care Package. And just as a side note, to give you guys my experience with Drake, I don't really mind Drake all that much. I think Drake has put out some really great music and I do enjoy a lot of his music. So going into this, I was hoping for something good, but I'm just going to say this from the top. This is not very good. In fact, this is one of the worst things I have ever heard from Drake. And I know that it's not an album. It's not like a full project. Some of the songs on here aren't all that new. They are some old songs that he decided to throw into this. But then there are some new cuts, I believe. I, I haven't heard every single Drake song. So some songs I might not actually know if they came out before or not. But... Either way, it doesn't really matter if they came out before. If the songs are trash, they're trash. So I'm sorry if I go over the fact that a song is old and that it came out a while ago or whatever. But anyway, we're going to be ranking the worst songs to the best songs. And I'm going to be doing this episode a little bit differently because there are quite a few tracks on this whole thing. And because... Generally speaking, I think this is a very, very poor project. I feel like a lot of the opinions that I have about each individual track are shared with a lot of tracks on this thing. So I'd rather kind of just group them together. If I don't feel like I have too much to say about an individual track, I would rather just rapid fire speed through every single spot and then give you guys my opinion on those groupings. Because overall, the way I see this thing is just so lazy, so many ideas ideas, so many deliveries, so many beats sound so fucking similar. It's like there was no inspiration that went into these tracks whatsoever, bar like maybe a few. I might give you guys some thoughts on individual songs here and there, but generally speaking, they're gonna be brief. So let's hop into it. In the number 17 spot, we have Can I. Oh my god, what a horrible way to end off this entire thing. This, along with other songs, is just fucking unlistenable. Boring ass beat that I hear so many times come up on this track. Like, there's just a specific formula that he follows on so many of these tracks. And it's just like, getting through this thing was actually tedious. And picking this as the worst track was actually really difficult. Not because there are, like, so many good tracks on this thing that, like, it's hard to pick the worst. There are so many bad tracks on this thing that picking the worst was actually a challenge. And honestly, I don't even know if this is the worst. Like, there are other ones that are still just so fucking bad. But anyway, can I? I mean, it's just boring uninspired, lazy flow, lazy beat. Why would you pick this as the final song on the album? I might accidentally refer to this thing as an album, but you guys know what I mean. It's not an album, it's a compilation. So if I say album throughout this video, just ignore it. But anyway, why would you end this entire thing off with this song? I mean, it's just so boring, so bad. I mean, laughably bad. There is like no reason why you would actually visit this track. I will never listen to this again. I said I was going to keep my opinions on tracks brief, but like the whole female vocalist, whatever, throughout the entire song saying, can I? I, I don't, uh, what the, like, I just don't understand what the point of that was. I mean, it's just terrible. It's really fucking terrible. In the number 16th spot, we have Heat of the Moment, another just laughably bad track. I mean, when I heard this thing, I had like a physical reaction of how bad this thing was. He starts off the verse saying, all the school kids are so sick of books and learning. They don't read anymore. They don't even read anymore. Like, such lyricism and all the cops are still hanging out at the donut shops talking about how the weather's changing the ice is melting as if the world is ending it's almost like he's making fun of these cops for talking about things that are so boring like the weather changing but what's more boring are these lyrics drake 
Th they're so boring. The chorus on this thing is just repulsing, and the second verse he says, With you on my mind, and I'm thinking dirty things. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I've seen some things. I wish we had met when I was in my teens. That's kind of weird to say. Like, I'm just imagining myself as a woman, just listening to these things. Like... How is this romantic at all? Just a horrible fucking track. I mean, I was listening to this and I was like grinning to myself at how horrible this was. I mean, I was just cringing. Like, I just wanted to burst out into laughter. But anyway, in the number 15 spot, we have I Get Lonely. And this is just like one of your typical Drake songs, like lovey-dovey, like I'm insecure and like I need a woman and like, ugh, I just... I don't have much to say about this track. I mean, just the title alone says it all, really. I mean, I, I went into this song, and I just knew it was going to be bad. I mean, for fuck's sake, this was garbage. In the number 13 spot, we have My Side, and this is another god-awful track. I mean, it's, it's one of those tracks where... Drake, he's so uninspired. The beat is super generic. I feel like by the time I got to this track, and it wasn't even, like, the end of the entire project, I was just so sick of hearing this same generic beat over and over again, and this just terrible flow that Drake feels like he needs to go into whenever he's uninspired and can't think of anything interesting to rap about. He does this flow where he sounds like this. It's just so lazy. I mean, you can pull it off at some points. I mean, I'm not saying that every single song where Drake uses this flow is bad, but it was so overused so many times throughout this thing and I was just fucking sick of hearing it. I mean, oh my god, please, please come up with something original because at this point, we're the 10th track into the entire thing and i barely gotten anything. In the number 12 spot, we have Draft Day, same issues, uninspired, the beat isn't even interesting, and the sample doesn't sound good whatsoever on this track. In the number 11 spot, we have Club Paradise, another boring track where Drake is just talking about his exes that have moved on from him, and the hook is just super generic, it's Drake doing his sing-songy type of thing, it just reminds me of something that would come off of his Thank Me Later project, which, I don't know, I don't remember if it was all that great, but yeah, it's, no, just didn't land with me. In the number 10 spot, we have Days in the East, uninspired flow, super boring, the beat is boring as well, and then towards the last leg of this song, Drake goes into one of the laziest rhyme schemes I've ever heard. All your friends ask him where you stand with the boy. FaceTime say you got plans for the boy, and then he just rhymes boy over and over and over again, and it just gets so redundant. I mean, what the fuck were you thinking? In the number nine spot, we have Jodeci, or Jodeci, I have no idea how to pronounce it, Freestyle, featuring J. Cole, and again, Drake sounds boring on this. I guess the one thing I can say about the instrumental on this thing is that it's interesting. Not saying that it's good, it's just a little bit of a change of pace, which I guess is a positive because so many beats sound so similar on this thing, but still, it doesn't sound good. And J. Cole's verse still is just like, doesn't really add much to the song. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, as you can tell, I'm very just fed up with this whole thing. I mean, usually when I like something, I have some sort of opinion about it, and I talk about it for a long time, but with these tracks, I just have nothing to say, because they're so similar, they're just all so lazy. In the number eight, we have How About Now, and I know that this song came out a while ago, but it never landed with me, I was never really a big fan of this song. I mean, maybe the one part of the song is like decent, but the rest of it is just so boring. The one part where it's like, you ain't really fuck with me back then, but how about now? Because I'm up right now. And then, like, that is, like, the only positive thing I can say. And it absolutely does not make up for the rest of the track being so boring and lazy and just, like, not for me. It never landed with me and it's never going to, probably. In the number 7 spot, we have 4PM in Calabasas. I don't know how to pronounce that, but the beat is 
kind of generic, boring. Drake's flow is like okay on this song. It's not like horrible. At least it seems like he's at least trying to flow okay on this track, but it's still kind of a throwaway. It's just okay, average, honestly, maybe a bit below average. Anyway, next track. In the number six spot, we have Free Spirit, boring flow from Drake. The beat I guess is like okay it's kind of like 4 p.m in Calabasas only I'm swapping over the flow for the beat I mean the beat is okay Rick Ross's feature on this thing is okay it's definitely better than Drake but like not all that interesting in the number five spot we have 5 a.m in Toronto and I guess this is like the first track that I don't really think is all that boring I think it's an average track I think the beat is you know pretty okay. Drake's flow is pretty okay as well. I mean, I would just say it's an average track. It's not boring, at least. That's a positive. Drake's singing on some parts of this track isn't horrible. It definitely doesn't feel like it's improvised, like he's just singing for the sake of singing because he has nothing else to say. I guess I could see myself returning to this track, but I'd have to really, really be in the mood for it. Also, a positive is that Drake doesn't sound like he doesn't want to do this. He doesn't sound like he doesn't want to go in on this track. He sounds like he's actually trying a bit, which is a positive. Okay, guys, I, I kind of just realized I fucked up this list a little bit. I was actually supposed to put trust issues here. Uh, I kind of missed the track. Whoops. What can I really say about this track? It's just Drake on his lovey-dovey jealous shit. I mean, other tracks have given me the same opinion so yeah take that for what it is it's a really fucking bad track it's all the way up here sorry though i completely missed that track and now i feel like i fucked this whole video up in the number three spot we have paris more in music and i actually think this is a good track wow the first track on this thing that i could genuinely see myself returning to and enjoying while yes the beat still has a little bit of a generic rhythm to it it does have some pretty nice synths at some point i think they're synths i don't know i'm not a music nerd sorry anthony either way the beat actually sounds pretty good it doesn't sound boring it's interesting and i can definitely enjoy some aspects of it also drake singing on this track is good and and his rapping is good on this as well. I think it's a good track. In the number two spot, we have Dreams Money Can Buy. And again, I think this track is pretty good. I actually thought it was a decent way to start off this whole thing. And it started on a good note. I was thinking to myself, maybe this thing isn't actually going to be all that bad. And I was definitely wrong because the vast majority of this is fucking trash and unlistenable but I actually liked this track it had a sort of atmospheric vibe to it that I was definitely fucking with I like some of the things that Drake is saying not everything but you know I think he sounds interesting on this track and definitely it's a track I could see myself revisiting um I liked it. I thought it was a nice song. And now in the number one spot, that leaves us with The Motion. You can tell that I didn't hype up the number one spot at all because this album or whatever the fuck it is, is garbage. And this is the only song on the entire thing that I actually like, that I genuinely love. I heard this song before. I think this song was off of his Nothing Was The Same project, which I actually enjoyed. I did like Nothing Was The Same. I know a lot of people didn't really like it all that much, but per Personally, I thought Drake had some of his best songs on there. The Motion is the only song out of this entire track list, though, that I actually really enjoy, that I have played for years on end ever since the song came out. I really fuck with this track. I like the beat on this thing, first of all. It just sounds so good to me. Drake's flow on this is very nice. His singing is really excellent. I mean, it's definitely the best track on this entire thing for me. And yes, that's not really saying much because a lot of the stuff before this is hot garbage. It's just a track that I love, and unfortunately, I can't say that about any other track on this, so obviously, this had to be the number one spot. All right, so overall, how did this thing go? Um, horribly. This is probably the worst thing I've ever heard from Drake, or it's definitely up there. It's definitely up there with Drake's worst work ever. I know that not all this stuff is new, but... I don't really care. It's still a really terrible 
compilation, whatever the fuck he wants to call it. What did I like from this? The Motion, Dreams Money Can Buy, Paris Morton Music, and maybe 5am in Toronto, I think is like, you know, just above okay. But ultimately, tracks that I can actually see myself returning to quite frequently are the last three. And yeah, this was fucking hard. Going through this entire thing, listening to it, to make this video was hard because it's just so bad. I mean, it's overall, the way I can summarize it is just uninspired, lazy. I mean, it goes from the beat selection to some of Drake's flows and his delivery and his lyrics that get so cringy at so many points. I could have spent this entire video talking about cringy lyrics, but I didn't want to bore you guys to death. But yeah, there were some very, very cringy moments on this album that just made me like fucking react. I mean, wow. Ultimately, what do I think of this thing? I thought it was extremely disappointing. I mean, I think Drake is coming out with an album soon. And all I'm going to say is that I hope it's way better than this because this was really just pitiful. I mean, I will not be revisiting the majority of this thing. And I guess ultimately, what am I going to score it? I would probably give it like a two out of 10. I mean, this was just painful. This was really just horrible. Incredibly disappointed with this whole thing. Not that I was really anticipating it. I mean, I didn't even know this thing was coming out until all of a sudden I saw Anthony Fantano review it. I watched his review and then I decided to check it out for myself because I actually like Drake. I like a lot of his songs and I was hoping that this wasn't going to be that bad, that I was actually going to enjoy it, but I ended up disliking it more and it's just like track after track this thing got worse and worse like i would reach a song like i don't know my side and think to myself this can't get any worse but then i get to a song like girls love beyonce and i was just like what the fuck and it just kept getting worse and worse there were so few highlights on this thing yeah two out of ten this thing is really garbage i'm gonna wrap this video up here i'm just i'm sick of talking about it i just want to forget about it pretend it never happened so yeah guys that's pretty much the end of the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you smack the like button if you want to stay up to date with my content please be sure to subscribe i'll have my last video in the corner if you haven't checked that out already definitely make sure to check it out hope you guys enjoyed thanks very much for watching peace out